So guys, little introduction to pipes are essentially cylindrical materials in which material must flow through these cylinders. So essentially just go here and flow. Let me make very clear what's pipe, what's a pipeline, what's piping and what's tubing. So for instance pipe is the single unit of a free laying pipe in a reference generally rigid metal carries fluids, liquid or gases and so on. I would definitely recommend you to pause the videos, read the definition by your own. Essentially a pipe is a single unit, so you could say this is a pipe. You have a small pipe, you can have a big pipe. And they should be able to contain high temperature and high pressures. Piping for the other side is the pipe work or general, let's say, plurality of pipes, joints, valves, everything related to the pipe. So actually, let's say this is one pipe right here until here, and all this system is the piping system, okay? I will say this is the piping. A lot of pipes join together in order to create a system of, or network of piping. Pipeline is more interesting yet. It's uh, it's about long sections of piping, large diameter commonly, and they are usually used to move oil or natural gas. For example, this Alaskan pipeline, it's huge and literally is a pipe going through all the state. And how can you differ about pipe, piping? Well, technically speaking, this is piping. But a pipeline speaks more about on the length and on the task. And of course it's done by many pipes. Now what's a tube? It should be a flexible pipe, generally of non-metal material. So hi there, I'm sorry it's all the video I got. This was a free preview. You want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course. The link is in the description of the video. You will get all access. Not only that, you get a very straightforward, uh, user-friendly interface. So, for instance, if you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block. And then you have the sections. If you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here. And you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So, for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. You were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here. Material and, well, it's also used to carry fluids and, yeah, essentially just plastic pipes and many other material pipes which have the function of being flexible. A conduit is yet another interesting concept. It's a very thin wall, rigid pipes that carries insulated wire. Essentially, you have a lot of wire, you're not carrying fluids, but more wires. So that was about just the differences on pipe, piping, pipelines, tubing, and so on. What do we want on a pipe? We want to transport fluid. It must be very economical, and yes, this shape is very economical. You could ask yourself why do we not do a square or even a triangle to transfer fluids because this is not this you have a lot of friction here in the corners and the pipe is the most even material well not material the most even shape it's simple to install and let's say it's good for oil or other materials and you can have many types of fluids for example gases we're not talking about that right now, but we could also have liquids, which is what we're starting on right now, and slugs and suspension, which is a very interesting topic. It's about a liquid and a solid, or a liquid and a gas mixture, which act as a fluid. So, once again, why do we use fluids instead of solids? Many times, actually, when you have a solid, you pulverize it and then make it fluid, because it's very cheap to transfer fluids in a pipe you need to pump it, move it, push, push, push and move instead of solid transportation you need either cars, wagons, whatever 
you take this here, you load this, it's full, it needs to move. It's not continuous, you will need a lot of cars to make this operation continuous. This was a free preview, you want to get full access, go to my incompressible flow course, the link is in the description of the video, you will get all access, not only that, you get a very straightforward uh, user-friendly interface, so for instance, you were analyzing or studying pumps, you have it here, the pump block, and then you have the sections, if you were, for example, studying the types of pumps, you can go here, and you have all the classes right here. Not to mention that you also have introduction and conclusion of every one of these. So for instance, if you were studying positive displacement pumps, the video is right here. If you were studying positive displacement pumps in rotatory and reciprocal are also included here. Centrifugal pumps, which is a very important topic in this course, you have it right here.